search hashtag 876 math to find this lesson fast. That's hashtag 8th grade unit 6 lesson 7 math. 8th grade illustrative mathematics unit 6 lesson 7 observing more patterns and scatter plots. Right now give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Problem number one, literacy rate and population for the 12 countries with more than 100 million people are shown in the scatter plot. Circle any clusters in the data. Both of these groups of points are considered clusters in the data. Problem number two, here is a scatter plot. Select all the following that describe the association in the scatter plot. We can select A, linear association, because the points form a line. And that means that we won't select B, nonlinear association. As the weeks increase, the weight also increases. That's forming a positive slope, so it does have a positive association, so we can select C, which means we won't select D, negative association. And since we selected A and C, linear association and positive association, we won't select E, no association. Problem number three from 8th grade unit 6 lesson 5. For the same data, two different models are graphed. Which model more closely matches the data? Explain your reasoning. Let's look at model A. The points are evenly distributed and close to the graph's line. Let's compare that with model B, where most of the points are above the graph's line. I'd say model A more closely matches the data because the points are distributed closer to the graph's line. Problem number four from eighth grade unit six lesson three. Here is a scatter plot of data for some of the tallest mountains on earth. The heights in meters and year of first recorded ascent is shown. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in this set of data. A. Estimate the height of Mount Everest. The horizontal axis represents the first ascent and the vertical axis represents the height of the mountain in meters. This outlier at the top represents Mount Everest, and it looks like it's just above the 8,800 meter mark. So we could say it's about 8,850 meters or so. B. Estimate the year of the first recorded ascent of Mount Everest. Draw a vertical line straight down from the point, and it takes you to just after 1950. So we could say that the first recorded ascent was approximately 1953 or so. Problem number five. From eighth grade unit five, lesson 18. A cone has a volume V, radius R, and a height of 12 centimeters. A, a cone has the same height and one third of the radius of the original cone. Write an expression for its volume. The formula for the volume of a cone is V equals one third pi times R squared times its height. In this problem, there are two cones. There's the original cone, and there's a cone that has the same height and one third of the radius of the original cone. We can use this formula to help us. We can insert the one third of the radius, and we can substitute the H with the 12 centimeters for the height. The order of multiplication doesn't matter, so we can do one third of 12. One third of 12 is four. Let's look at the one over one times pi. That's the same as one times pi or pi. We can rewrite one third r squared as one third squared times r squared. Since the order doesn't matter, we can move r squared to the end. One third squared or one third times one third is one ninth. One ninth times four is four ninths. Again, since the order of multiplication doesn't matter, we can move these around. 4 ninths times pi times r squared. The volume of the cone described in A is 4 ninths pi times r squared, or 4 ninths pi r squared. B. A cone has the same height and 3 times the radius of the original cone. Write an expression for its volume. For this one, we can use the formula for finding the volume of a cone. Instead of substituting the one third in front of the radius, we'll substitute a three in front of the radius. And it has the same height, so we'll keep the height a 12. Three r all squared becomes three squared or nine times r squared. Since the order of multiplication doesn't matter, we can move the r squared to the end. One third of nine is three. Three times 12 is 36. 
So the volume of this cone is 36 pi r squared. Right now you can watch the next lesson and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. See you next time.